Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty, Tampa Property Management, and this is another in our helpful blog series for Tampa landlords. And this one is called Three Things to Consider Before You Manage Your Own Property. The first thing to consider is do you know what you're doing? There are laws you need to know about federal laws, state laws, county ordinances, city laws. Do you know those? Do you know where to advertise to find a good tenant? Do you know how to screen a good tenant, have them to locate and have them sign a good lease? How to handle escrow? What happens when there's maintenance? Do you know how to handle maintenance? Do you know what vendors to call? What happens when things may go wrong? For example, perhaps they move in unauthorized occupants or perhaps the tenant stops paying rent. A couple of years ago, a potential customer called our office and said, what do you guys do for your management fee? And I thought that was a really good question. So I set about writing out a list of everything that we did and it ended up being five pages long. It really surprised me. There is a lot that you have to know to manage your own property. The second thing to consider is do you have the time? Do you have the time to manage your rental property? And it's hard if you have another job. Things don't happen in organized windows. For example, in a vacancy, you've got to make the time to go show your property. And you're going to have to show the property at times that are convenient to prospects that you may want to rent to. That's not necessarily going to be at times that are convenient for you. And then maintenance and repairs happen at random times. You know, consider, do you have the bandwidth to handle a maintenance request at say 7 a.m. on a Monday morning when an angry tenant is calling because the garage door won't come up and their car's stuck inside and they're trying to get to work and they are really frustrated. Or do you have the time to handle a AC maintenance call at six o'clock on a Friday evening? Or perhaps it's a 2 a.m. call over a blocked toilet. The third thing to consider is, do you have the right skills to be a landlord? A landlord has to wear many hats. Most importantly, you've got to have very good people skills. You've got to be able to understand maintenance, know who to call and be able to trust your vendors. You're going to need to have good bookkeeping skills. Also, being a landlord can get stressful when things go wrong. So do you have the right disposition to handle perhaps a tenant that stops paying rent? Or what happens when the AC fails at your property and the AC company has to wait two or three days to get the part from the factory to repair it and you've got an angry tenant demanding that you put them up in a hotel room for the next two to three nights? I mean, how would you handle that situation? So these are three important questions to consider before you manage your own rental property. And if you have questions about these, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'd certainly be happy to talk to you.